This is an overview of the split hero widget for Elementor. Let's get started. To get started, drag the split hero into your Elementor column. What this widget does, it's a nice layout for your hero section that's split to 50% image and 50% content. I'm going to show you how you can customize this to suit your needs. So first of all, over here, we can change the logo, which is on top, and you can give the logo a link. You can also edit the title, the subtitle, the description, which are over here, and the button text plus the button link. Let's close the general and inside of layout, we can turn on or off each part of the content over here. So for example, if you don't want the logo to show, now it doesn't show when it's turned off. I'm gonna jump into style. Over here, we can determine the height of this whole hero section. So for example, now it's 100 VH, which is from top to bottom of the viewport height. I'm going to change it to 50% just so you can see how nicely this adapts. This is a responsive setting, so you can set it up differently for tablet or whatever, and also change the units to pixels if you need to. For direction, you can reverse the image with the content, so that's pretty nice. Sometimes you want to make a nice layout where you have alternating sides. So over here in the second one, I'm going to reverse this, and now you can see we have a nice alternating layout, and each one can use its own image Let's jump into image over here. Inside of image, of course, we can select a different image. The image will adapt no matter uh, what image we select. So for example, if I, uh, let's say, select this singer, click insert over here, we can see how nice that is. Over here, we have an option for background blend mode. So if I change this to screen, and now I can start playing around with the different colors over here, and you can see I'm getting sort of a filter. So you can play around with the different blend modes and each one will get you a different kind of result. You need to play around with this to see what best suits your needs, but that's how you can do it. Look how nice that is. So that's the original image. We, ch we chose a background color of blue and a background blend mode of screen. And this is like a blue piano effect over here, looking awesome. Image width, we can change the image width. So by default, it's fifth split into 50-50, but you can change this to whatever you want. This is a responsive setting. So for example, on tablet, I can decide that it needs to be maybe a little bit bigger. Let's jump back into desktop and go into content. Inside of content, we can determine the background color of the content side. So you can choose any color you want. And actually you can even change it to a background image and align your text however you want to align it. So for example, I aligned it to the left. You can add some more padding. So right now it's 60 pixels. Let's push that up to 100 pixels. And now you have 100 pixels from the left and from the right. You can vertically align if you want the text to be aligned to the top. You can just change the vertical align to top and now it's aligned to the top. Inside of logo, we can determine how wide our logo is. This is a responsive setting and also over here, you can set this in pixels or in percent. Logo spacing is spaced from the top and we have all the typography settings for title, subtitle and text. So you can change any one of these, just jump inside, change the typography settings, the colors, or whatever you want, exactly how you want it. For example, I'll go into subtitle, go into typography, transform, I'll do uppercase. For weight, I'll push up the weight to 700. And in letter spacing, I'll push out the letter spacing and look how nice this looks. Awesome, so inside of button, which is the last part, you can actually change all the button settings, which is colors, borders, typography, hover colors, and padding. You also have an option to make your button more square and not as rounded by pushing the button radius. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and I'm going to see you in the next video.